Hi loves, it's Sasha here. Thank you for watching. If you are a subscriber, then welcome back. If you are new here, then welcome. Make sure to subscribe, click the bell so you don't miss my next video and you are notified. I'm going to be doing the No Mirror Makeup Challenge. I'm so excited to be filming the No Mirror Makeup Challenge for you all tonight. So I'm going to be putting my mirror on the floor here and I do have palettes that have mirrors in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the palette so I just see the colors and you and I don't see the mirror. <laughs> I'm going to flip my viewfinder. Oh shit. Okay, um, how will I know if I'm in focus? You know what? We are just going to have to hope for the best. Okay, so I'm flipping around. Okay, hi. Can you see me? I hope you can. Okay. So I'm going to start off by putting my favorite favorite primer on my face is called the touch of the silk canvas primer and i basically hit pan on this it's how amazing it is i'm gonna go tomorrow and get a new one this might be good for me to know and test out my makeup skills i like don't know where to look did i put enough primer on even i don't even know if i did i put on a little more but i don't know where to look because there's no mirror can't see you guys i mean i obviously can't see you but i can't see myself because i have no viewfinder at the moment no reflections for me to cheat <laughs> so that is all good now for foundation i'm going to be taking my saint laurent radiance awakening foundation put it on the back of my hands and I'm gonna take a wet beauty blender because that might help blend it all in easier. So I'm gonna just spray that. You know, I have to get a new spray because this is almost out. I use the Morphe setting spray and it's amazing. I use so much of it. Closing my eyes probably helps me because I could focus better. I really hope this is all blended out because I want to stop doing foundation in a few minutes. For concealer, I use two concealers. One is basically not really a concealer because it's too dark for me. So I use it as like a outline for my contour, but I'm going to go in with the lighter colors, the Kylie concealers. Put the light one under my eyes, on my nose, my forehead, my chin. I'm going to blend that out first. And now I'm going to go in with this little dots all around. I really hope I'm blending out the contour. If I'm not, that is amazing. Now I'm going to put my P. Louise base on for my eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna set that, but I have a mirror in here, so I'm going to open it up first. And take out the little thing. The bake. Where is my baking powder? Here it is, right in front of me. Just gonna put it right under my eyes because I tend to get dry, like, down here do the chin strap i'm gonna do my brows now my brows are basically done because someone did them for me but i'm just gonna fill in the ends a little bit more i'm even touching the ends again fine whatever i don't want to i think less is more in this case because if i do more and I'm not doing it well and that is not cute. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking the Sultry Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And there is a mirror in here, so I'm going to turn it around. I'm be taking Twig, put that in my crease. I'm be taking Dystopian, I think. Put that my outer crease. I'm going to be taking my favorite pumpkin spice palette and I'm going to be taking Oh My Gourd, put that in my crease. 
put golden pumpkin on my lids. I'm going to take something sweet, put it in my tear duct and under my brow. Okay, the nose contour. I'm gonna take the bake off. Now for liner. The winged liner is going to be the hardest part, I think. It has, it has to be very precise. Let's see how this goes. Now let's do my lashes. We are doing falsy, so this is gonna be interesting. I'm good at doing my lip liner without a mirror because I do it like all the time. Shouldn't, but I do. <laughs> and this was my pumpkin spice lip gloss for Too Faced. Now for some highlights. I'm gonna spray and we'll see the results. Oh. That is lovely. So it's not really blended around here so well. Um, the skin looks nice. The lashes, oh my god, what is going on here? Okay, that should be a little more up. Oh, and way too big, okay. So I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up for my sake. Um, please let me know how I did. Sorry, anyways, if this was a cringe for you. It was a cringe for me on the inside too. Subscribe to my channel. I love you all so much. Bye, princesses and queens. Mwah.